What's up, beautiful people? Mr. Tracks here again. I'm still trying to find my spiritual name. <laughs> it haven't came on to me yet. Ooh. Holy shit. Oh, dropped you. Whew. Sorry. Whew. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I'll pitch you back up. You fall down. I'll pitch you back up. Uh, it's good to have, you know, you know, being, have good energy, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's real good to have a positive mindset to a um, certain situation, in any, almost any situations, and trying to uh, build your energy and your frequency up to rise it up, you know? But I really get it from the fruits, which is good. Mm. You see the melanated seeds inside. Real good. I gotta get keep getting my information. You know? The first education, as I would say based on my experience in growing, the first sign of education is eating. That's information. That's the first education. That's the first schooling. What do you do when you come out of your mom's womb? Education. Getting the mother earth breast. Where the mother breasts that breastfed it. Some of us didn't get a chance to even get that, receive that blessing. <laughs> but it's okay. But it's also important to understand that Nutrition is the most important part to being healthy, man. You know, you got to care about your body. You only get one body in this dimension. You might have came back multiple times and all that stuff. Multiple times. And like, you know, in different forms. Animal or whatever. But eating health is one of the most important part in life. I'm still, you know, it's, it's you know, it is a, a struggle, <laughs> a challenge, I might say, not a struggle, but a challenge, you know, to finding the right organic foods now because everything's been genetically modified in the laboratory. It's crazy how you know, everything can be genetically modified in the lab, in the laboratory. The seedless stuff that I was telling you about. Um, especially for melanated men, melanated men, got to stay away from soy. Um, soy beans and structures and stuff like that. If you saw my last deep video called Message to the Family, um, that's a message that I received coming from a deep meditation here in Hawaii on the coast of Kona at the spiritual um, stand. It's just like beautiful. Like today I went snorkeling and um, saw some gorgeous fishes, man. Beautiful fishes, man. I'm like, man, I, I gotta go get my camera and go down there and take it with me and start taking some pictures. You'd be amazed what's under the water. It's crazy. I was told that it was like over 3,000 species on the water here alone because we're right in the middle of the ocean. Hawaii, right here in the middle of the ocean, the big Hawaii, the big island. But what I wanted to talk about is, you know, freestyling a little bit and letting the spirit guide that, you know, it's important to be humble. I learned how to be a humble at an early age. And I think that was one of my special gifts at an early age. <laughs> and as growing up and maturing, getting wiser, 
She's experiencing life, yada, yada. You still grow up to be real humble because especially when you're not sheltered in anything or, you know, doing all those things and you have to be dependent. I mean, you know, independent and um, be focused. But meditation, I know you keep hearing that from me, but that is important, getting back to nature. And I feel like meditating can help you achieve in finding who you are, what you were sent here for, who you was back in the past, who, um, this might be over the head, but I'm going there to connect with your um, ancestors, of course, but also to even to connect with your doppelganger, too. I got that from an oracle lady, Firestone Sister. I'll share some of that information with you when I get more organized on, you know, on giving out the information. I'm still a student myself. You know, to be great, to become a great teacher, you must be an excellent student. I'm always a student in life. So, what is righteousness? Righteousness is being pure from the heart. Looking within, loving yourself for who you are in every shape and form, every segment, every cell of your body. Raising up your vibration frequency is one of the key purposes why you came here on this dimension as well. And also to help harmonize individuals, spots of the planet, just being a light being like I was telling you before. Excuse me, you see the digestive system going right through. And it's, oh, that tastes good. But yeah, eating healthy is important. And as you can see, I'm getting like high off of that just by eating right and stuff like that. And yeah, you, you got to do your research on what's inside these foods, man. And I'm not saying I'm an expert in anything, too, because I'm still trying to become, you know, more improving myself on what I eat and stuff too, um, especially being on the island. I know this is one of my spiritual calling to come to an island. I know I saw myself, I saw my wife as well, I just saw, and just getting the information saying like, okay, you have to go somewhere that's very spiritual to pick up some frequencies and stuff like that. I don't know. You might experience it on your own spiritual journey. Each person have their own uniqueness and stuff like that. And 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 also just one of the main reasons why I grew this. I didn't grow this just to be like because everybody else is doing it. But it's a reason why everybody started growing this. But this is not just like for show and tell. You know, just like, oh, I look cool. I got locks and stuff. No. This right here is one of the key elements too of me connecting back to my roots, roots. And this is the root system. This picks up a lot of, I don't know, it's different from like, you know, swimming. It's, it's information, it's hair, you know, you get, you receive lyco energy from your hair and stuff like that. Back to the Avatar movie, you know, they connect it to the animals, to the hair, symbolically, um, but yeah, like I said, there was a lot of research done in that movie, man. Look at the credits. You'll see how many experts and researchers and all that stuff that went around the globe, the scientists, to put that technology together so you can see and what you think and it appears as illusion, as just entertainment. Let me say this. Anything that's coming from Hollywood or in the movies is not just entertainment. All right? I want you to understand that. I really want you to grasp hold of what I'm saying now. When you see a movie, it's not just entertainment. I'm not talking about conspiracy theories and all this stuff. I'm talking about reality. So when you next time watch a deep movie or, you know, follow your intuition. Some people probably don't have lost their intuition due to the fact of being 
chemicalized on what they're doing to their bodies. You know, important information. Everyone can heal thyself. I hope last time when you checked out that video I was telling you about Dr. Sabi. That's one of the um, brothers, main brother right now, ancient ancestors who came back and was given the knowledge and has blessed us with the knowledge in this time and his past time and bringing it back now. How the herbs and eating right and what not to eat to health. While I'm talking about that, I need to go ahead and buy me a detox, but it looked like the brother sold out, <laughs> which is good. It's just good because he went on a deep spiritual journey, man. I noticed that anytime when somebody's doing something real good and for the people, especially for the people, melanated people and stuff, that tends to be that one energy source that I was telling you about where they want to hover this evil force over it and to, to, to neutralize it from being prosper and being anointed, being one and healing. And now it comes to the fact that now, as you can see in the world today, they don't want no one to actually heal or heal themselves through the drug administrations, the food, and everything else like that. So it's up to I and I and you, yourself, to look within and humble yourself to actually heal thyself and become a healer, especially the sisters out there. The sisters out there are really the true healers, man. They are really the true healers. It's just been a lost art, of course, with all the big distraction and all the agenda and propaganda that's been going against against that whew, and stuff like that. But that's the most important part. Is healing yourself is most important, and then you can actually do it. And once you do it, you gotta educate yourself, of course. And you have to get back to nature, meditate on self. Stop making excuses not to meditate. No matter what your circumstances is, you can always put aside 15 minutes. You can start off as a little as five minutes. And work your way up and extend it just like an exercise, just like you exercise with the physical body. You can exercise on the spiritual playing field as well and inherit your spirituality being. So, healing yourself, focus on positive vibration, raising up your frequency is one of the most important parts. Eating right, tapping into these fruits that is going good, which is excellent. And being a achiever, man, accomplish your goals, be prosper, be anointed, be successful. And what's your definition of success? Is your definition of success is I'm just going to have money and I'm going to get fat as hell and do all this stuff and buy this and this and that and this. Is that your definition of success? Or is your definition of success or something? So just be clear, have clarity on things, you know? And sometimes, as I said in my other post, that you just have to shut the fuck up, you know, myself included sometimes. Sit down, be quiet, stop thinking, and receive. <laughs> yep, that's, that's sometimes that's what it is. Most of the times that's what it is once you start getting into nature as well. You start eating right. So... I'm sharing that with you because I've been doing that quite some time now, especially this past year, from 2013 to 2015 right now. I've really been like really trying to push myself even to the point of really going to the trees and trying to meditate. And it's, it's good because it's like getting to the roots. It's, it's deep, man. It's real deep. But... I don't want you to think this is a commercial thing too, you know, this is not commercial. I'm trying to be raw and real upfront with you and not being like, oh, like, oh, you're gonna do this, you're gonna succeed and you no know, selling it like this, like it's a damn, you know, another asset to monopolize off of. No, it's information. Been here, done that, but people have need, you know. Um, 
So it's important to eat right. And it's also important to make time for yourself. So meditation is key. When you meditate, I know people saying the third eye. I'm not talking about third eye yet. Because you have to be cautious about opening up the third eye to chakras. Because some people who's not ready, and some people who's not ready, might do that and doing that. It's another woman. She's an oracle as well. It's, I, it's a lot of people I can throw names out there. Which is the, her name is, and I call on that ancestor and I said thank you to the ancestors for bringing her back in life to share that information as well. Dr. Yaffa Bay. Dr. Yaffa Bay is a beautiful, beautiful sister. <sighs> she changed my life, my wife's life as well by giving her information. She's like the true, like one of the true oracles. And um, she is, uh, um, I don't want to, you know what, I'm not even going to categorize anything. That's what our problem too. We always categorize them. Who you with? You this, you that, you this, you that, this, 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 that, this, that. What you is, what's your nationality? You black. You African American. You, you indeed, you, you mix with this, you mix with that. Let's stop categorizing, man. Now all I've been doing, it's splitting us up. We are part of the diaspora, man, you know? The autochthonous, you know? And that's good information. She has shared up and bring clarity on words and meanings. It's important to understand what words and meanings is speaking in this English tongue. I'm about to you, the old English tongue. So yeah. <laughs> It feels good. No, I'm not high. I'm high off of nature right now, and I'm high off of just eating that beautiful passion fruit. No, that's not a passion fruit. That's dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, I think. You know Okay. Yeah. But anyway, that information is good. And yeah, man, I don't know everything. Just know a little bit something, and I can share with you just my experiences as I go along. And hopefully one day we can... All the people who's raising up their frequency come together and do something great and positive and bless the circle of life and bless nature and everything else that comes with it, like a big retreat or something. I don't know. That's my uniqueness, building a community. Because what I want to do is build a community. Something lets you see like this. You, you know, you see like the HUD and you see that HUD and something like that. It's to build a community structure similar to something like that. Eco-friendly, that's harmonized with the planet and possibly, you know, living off-grid. You'd be surprised how many people are doing that these days. And I want to um, lift my people, especially, that they can really can do it. <laughs> especially when you, like, stress in and out, about job to job, and paying these bills, and all these bills and making a corporation rich and all this stuff. It's a way of living simple. And it's a way of um, actually, you know, harmonizing yourself with the planet the way you live. Off of natural materials and stuff like that. So, I'll just share with you some of my coming with goals that I want to strive for. And I hope to build around some people to come together to build a real community. But you got to have your energy and your frequency right. It's a lot of people out there, 13, the 13th son, he's a gut, another one, Phil Valentine, that's another brother. It's a lot of brothers and sisters out there that's throwing out that real knowledge, man, and giving you guys the real information out there. But what to do with it versus just listening and just listen to another video and watching another video is to apply it. You have to apply it. You have to get your hands dirty. You got to get on the field. You got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. So I come to you today to say peace, respect, open your mind. And I know I was talking about don't open your third chakra. So meditate it, right? What I can do when I just show you a brief little exercise of meditating is when you sit back, relax. You can do it in the chair. I just do the simple for you guys on the basic stretch. You sit back in the chair, try to be real relaxed. 
find yourself in a comfortable spot if you can get to the beach or the water because you buy the water that helps cleanse the oral and the circuits and stuff like that, let things flow, especially if you find yourself a type of person that hold grudges, always thinking about something in the past, can't get over that, or remembering this person, every time you see them and you're just thinking something negative of what that person did to you, what that person done to you, and stuff like that, let that shit go. And some of the people just really need to do be to let things go. <laughs> but yeah, you have to, you know, just let this shit go because that's going to heal you, you know. Stress kills. Stress leads to other things. Stress leads to um, not confidence, not being confident in your body and who you came, you know, what you came here with, you know. And it's crazy how I see some of the, the people just, you know, get lips shot up, butt shot up, titties done, and ooh, that's another video. I'm not even going to go there just yet, you know. I'm just going to let the ancestors do what they do. So meditate. You can just sit here and meditate. Calm, listen to the waves, and just be quiet for five, five minutes and just listen. And when you find yourself thinking, try to let it go. But it is a breathing technique to this. You breathe through your nose and nostrils. I'm not a teacher at this, but I, this is my personal experience. My thing is always, you know, learning information, growing, and then applying it myself. You mold it and create your own good thing to get grounded. Cause don't be the person who always is taking, you know, information from everyone and making it a, a, a whole religious thing. You know, make it when you come across information and stuff like that. Vibrate your life, vibrate your frequency, find your peace within, and make it part of your life, you know. Again, I got to find out my spiritual man, man. I'm still working on that. Um, got so many messages that came across my way. And you post a start on, like, what's your favorite animal, and then they come to you. Or I have multiple favorite animals, but I'm still trying to figure out what it just yet. Patient is key. So. When you do meditate, you can just meditate on like just sitting down, just sitting down, breathing, inhaling to the nose, oxygen, and, and exhaling through the nose, oxygen. And maybe that might be one of my callings too, is to like actually help people to raise up their frequency and to vibrate and stuff like that because I do find myself people like, how do you do that? Why do you go about doing that? You know what I mean? And um. And yeah, and I think it's organic in, um, in a way when they do come to a brother or sister about that type of information, which is very important. You know, that's very important because, you know, as again, sorry to say, people, but I'm not sorry. We are the elders of the planet. <laughs> the oldest people on this motherfucker. Yeah, you know I like to have fun. That's me as always. So you sit down sometime, quiet time. Might want to listen to some uh, bells, you know. And have the singing bowls. You take a YouTube, start off with that, and just quiet into your mind, and or just sit it somewhere in your home or house on the floor. Try to get some sun at the same time, and just be quiet and. Listen to your breath. Let's start listening to your breathing, and then you'll find your breathing start getting sh um, shallow and shallow till you can't hear it no more. But I know that's on a whole advanced level. So just stick to the basics. When you stick to the basics, you can actually feel what I'm saying a little bit more. So that'll be my alt talk for the day. I know I just ramp out and just going on and just you know showing a lot of things, throwing things at you from all over and stuff like that. But, you know, again, if the time is now, like I said, you got to get your frequency right, man. You know, the planet is changing. And, yeah, peace, prosperity, health, and wealth within. Peace. Love you.